I, I'm appreciating it. So uh, that's yeah. interesting, though. That, that I'm happy to hear that it's building back that quickly. It is. Um, but and how how have you seen that? Well, I have a twofold question for you. Uh, one, how sure. have you seen that like response now versus hurricanes in the past? Like, is that happening faster? And then the other one is: Are they building it back as a band aid to get it back to where it was, or are they building it back better so that if there is another storm that comes through? You know, it's not another down aluminum power line. It, it was it a, you're asking if they did a reinvestment. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the answer to the first question is no, actually. The FEMA response here was lackluster at best. They uh, immediately after the storm, typically during a FEMA operation under a competent administration, shall we say, uh, there are uh, trailers and resources and uh, command teams that are staged to especially with hurricanes because you you know you know they're coming a couple of days ahead of time uh they're usually staged right outside of the affected zone uh shortly ahead of so that as soon as the storm passes they know that people are going to be without power without drinking water without uh without home a lot of them right. and they bring trailers and tents and and resources and teams and you know there's no health clinics because uh hospitals run on generators but they aren't exactly seeing new patients if they can avoid it so it's basically that FEMA is supposed to be there so that the American way of life that we think of, of a first world response, never breaks down. Well, in our case, um, it broke down. There, there, there was no FEMA response. It's the day after 